My name is Johan Blumert. I'm a sales engineer for WatchGuard Technologies. In this episode of MFA, we're going to cover mobile VPN with Ike V2 and Active Directory. If you're new to MFA, feel free to check out some of our other videos that we have under our AuthPoint series on our YouTube channel. Let's get started. Before we begin, let's go ahead and cover what Ike V2 is. Ike V2 is the Internet Key Exchange version 2.0. It was jointly developed by Microsoft and Cisco. It is natively supported by Microsoft since Windows 7. It's also covered by, included by Mac, iOS devices, and many more. It offers many pros. It's fast, it's stable, especially when switching network or reconnecting after a lost internet connection. Because of this, it's also highly resilient to changing networks. This makes Ike V2 a great choice for cell phone users who regularly switch between home Wi-Fi in mobile VPN or mobile connections, or who regularly move between hotspots. It's secure with AES, that's Advanced Encryption Standard, and it's easy to set up on the user side. So how do we actually begin? To use Ike V2 encryption, we will use the latest Microsoft version of the Challenge Handshake Authentication Protocol, CHAP, otherwise known as MS CHAP V2. Now, before we've just, uh, in previous sessions, we've covered a lightweight directory access protocol or LDAP, and that's the communication protocol between the AuthPoint gateway and Active Directory. However, LDAP does not support MSCHAP v2. So, to leverage MSCHAP v2, we actually need to install Microsoft Network Policy and Access Services, NPS to authenticate against Active Directory since only NPS supports MS CHAP v2. So just as a reminder, if you have local off-point users, you do not need to install NPS. You can view those uh, how-to videos in the other part of our MFA series. You only need NPS if you want to authenticate against Active Directory users. So let's cover the integration overview. We have a couple of prerequisites for you we need to make sure that you've installed and configured the AuthPoint gateway, version 5.3.1 or higher. So feel free to check out the other uh, MFA series on how to install the AuthPoint gateway. You also need to install and configure the Active Directory domain services, as well as install network policy and access services, which includes NPS, or which is NPS. If you already have a RADIUS server installed that uses port 1812, or if NPS and the gateway are installed on the same server, you must use a different port for the AuthPoint gateway. In the example today, Active Directory and NPS are not installed on the same server. So if NPS is installed on a different server than Active Directory, you must register NPS in the Active Directory domain and log in as a domain administrator. So let's cover what is involved with configuring uh, off point with Ike V2 and Active Directory. The first step is we're going to set up a new Radius client in NPS. So again, you need to have NPS installed as a prerequisite. We want to add a new network policy within NPS. We want to configure the Firebox, configure off point, and then ultimately we're going to test out a Ike V2 VPN connection with an Active Directory user on Windows 10. Now, a few tips for success. Bear in mind, as you go through this, you're probably going to hit um, some uh, speed bumps or a, little, a few little bumps in the road. But if you do, just make sure that um, you can break it down in these steps. So again, I would highly recommend using the authentication page. So that's just the IP address of the firewall um, colon 4100 to test out your authentication. Just make sure to add in any external to the WatchGuard authentication policy. By default, it's any trusted and any optional. So you'll just want to be able to configure that if you're outside the network. The first step I would recommend is to establish a v Ike V2 VPN connection with a local user without AuthPoint. So just make sure that user is set up in uh, WatchGuard as a local user and that you can successfully create a connection that way. Next step, once you've successfully done that, is to establish a a VPN connection, Ike V2 VPN connection with a local user within AuthPoint. And again, if you are uh, curious about how to set those up, check out the other series on MFA. We have uh, setting up local users within AuthPoint. 
And ultimately, at the end, we are going to establish an Ike V2 VPN connection with an Active Directory user within Authpoint. So now as we look at the data flow, so let's say this is my client trying to VPN in, we're coming across the internet here. We're gonna hit the external uh, port of the firewall, external interface of the firebox, and we're gonna try to establish a VPN connection. At that point, it's going to ask uh, Authpoint, do we have any users synchronized in from Active Directory? And again, we cover that in a few, uh, another Firebyte session with synchronizing your external identities. If that user exists within Authpoint, then what we're gonna do is go to the radius server of the Authpoint, that's a radius proxy. And again, if you um, were interested, we are doing the user uh, synchronization through LDAP out to the cloud. But once we are have that request coming in, uh, VPN connection, we sit at the Authpoint gateway. And now when we use Ike v2, we are extending that to the NPS server and authenticating against Active Directory. This NPS then sends back the accept message back to the Firebox, and then that completes the uh, VPN connection. So let's go ahead and dive in and take a look at how that's set up. Let's configure the Microsoft NPS server. So now that I'm at my network policy server screen, I wanna expand radius clients and servers. Click on radius clients and right click and click on new. At this point, I'm going to name it, give it a friendly name of my uh, whatever I want, my auth point gateway. And then I'm gonna choose the IP address of the computer that that gateway is installed on. Now I wanna type in a shared secret here and confirm that shared secret. Now it's important to realize that this is the computer that the Authpoint gateway is currently sitting on and not the firewall or the firebox itself. We click advance and we accept the defaults. Go ahead and click on okay. Now the next step is to create a network policy. So right click on network policies and right click and go to new. So in this case, we wanna go ahead and give it a name and we wanna go ahead and uh, click on next at this point. We're gonna add a condition. We're gonna say it needs to, this user needs to be a part of this window group. Now, if you recall in the previous uh, Firebyte session of synchronizing external identities, we created an Active Directory group that uh, those users then become a member and that is what controls the synchronization of users to Firebyte or to the auth point. I'm gonna go ahead and use that same group. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on add and I believe it was auth point sync. There we go, click okay and click okay now or click next. We're going to access um, granted, set the access as granted. Now we're gonna change, take out these options. Users can change password after it's expired. User can change password after it's expired. We don't want users changing uh, their passwords through this NPS server. Now we're gonna go ahead and just uh, check out the defaults, which appear to be fine. Click on next. So now we wanna add a, fil a radius attribute. Go ahead and click on add. We're gonna choose filter ID. What we're gonna to wanna to do is type in a name of the uh, auth point group that this user is going to be part of. So if we remember, I am uh, jumped over to my auth point screen here. We want to, and again, this is all uh, configurations that we've set up in previous sessions. So I want to go in under my uh, users here, and I want to choose this group. I can either get to the groups under groups or users, and I want to select this uh, group. Go ahead and come back here and make sure that I am uh, typing it case sensitive and making sure to include any spaces. Click OK, click Close, and now we should be good to go. Click Next and Finish. Now what we wanna do is just drag this up to the top so we can say Move Up until it's processing as one. Processing order is one. We make sure it's grant access and we should be good to go at this point. So let's pivot to the Firebox and let's go under 
authentication and click on servers. So at this point, we're gonna to wanna to click on radius and set up a new radius server. So let's go ahead and make sure that uh, we are unlocked so that we can make changes. Click on add. Now I'm going to go ahead and type in uh, the name of Authpoint in here. And now I'm gonna type in the IP address of the computer that I've installed the gateway onto. I'm gonna leave the default port of 1812. Now keep in mind that if you have NPS and Authpoint running on the same server, you're gonna have a port conflict, so you're going to need to customize that. Now in here, I'm gonna increase the timeout to 90 seconds, leave the default for group attribute, and click on save. Now I wanna go ahead and click on VPN and go to mobile VPN. If you've never set up Ike V2 before, you'll see it launch wizard. I'm gonna go ahead and run through this wizard real quick here. I'm gonna go ahead and add the IP address of the external interface of my Firebox. Click on next. And now we wanna select an authentication server. So I'm gonna go choose Authpoint, click on add. Now, as you can see, Authpoint is not the default, so I'm gonna click on Authpoint and click on Move Up. Click on Next. And now we are to the Add Users and Group. So I wanna go ahead and create a new group. If I wanted to do individual users, I could do that, but I wanna create a new Authpoint group. Click on Add. Now this has to match the name of the Active Directory group that those users are in. I'm gonna select Group and make sure that I have Authentication Server set to Authpoint. Click on save and then go ahead and click on next. I'm gonna keep the default virtual IP address pool. And now the Ike V2 setup wizard is complete after you click on finish. So now we can review the settings. We could assign IP addresses if we want or DNS settings if we wanted to. Everything looks good at this point. We have the users and group of Authpoint sync. That's great. And we can go ahead and keep all the defaults for security. Click on save. And now we wanna configure Authpoint for the final step. So let's go ahead and pivot over to Authpoint here. Now these resources I've created in other sessions, Firebyte sessions, so feel free to check them out. But I wanna revisit this uh, radius client of the firewall connecting in to Authpoint. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on this. This successfully has worked. I'm gonna go ahead and enable MSChap v2 from here. So now I'm gonna type in the IP address of the server that I have installed the NPS onto. I'm gonna keep the default port of 1812 since I have two different servers for NPS and Authpoint uh, gateway. And then I'm gonna set a timeout of 30 seconds. So now we can click on save. Now the next step is to go into groups and make sure that we have an access policy. So go ahead and select your group. And as you can see here, we do not have an access policy to reach uh, the radius or for the radius client to reach the Authpoint gateway. So we're gonna go ahead and click on add policy. We're gonna choose the radius client, select require password. And as you can see here, the only option is a push notification for our users. Click on add. Now we wanna go ahead and make sure that we click on save here. So now I'm gonna switch over to my client computer running Windows 10, and I'm gonna log into the firewall and download that uh, configuration for Ike V2. Click on accept. And then I'm going to go ahead and click on VPN, mobile VPN, and I'm just going to unlock it so that I can download that client profile. Once that client profile has downloaded, I'm gonna go ahead and extract that. So click on downloads. We're gonna go in and use 7-zip to extract, extract files. And that gives me one more tar to uh, extract. And now I'm gonna go into Windows and click on the bat file for WatchGuard IV2. This is going to set up the certificate as well as the profile for the VPN.
takes just a few moments and then it's done. So click any key to continue. All right, so let's go ahead and bring over my phone here. I'm gonna go in under settings on my Windows 10 computer. Go to a VPN, click on VPN here, and here's the profile. I'm gonna go ahead and click on connect. Type in the username and password. And now it says, are you trying to sign in? Go ahead and click approve. Sends a response back to AuthPoint and that is reflected to the Firebox and it completes your connection. And we have successfully connected a, a WatchGuard Ike V2 with Active Directory using AuthPoint VPN connection.